Encourage you. I smell coffee. Yeah. It's fresh from the market. Huh. You mean the tart stuff across the highway? Yeah. No, this is from the French market in New Orleans. Very funny. I didn't think it was. Yeah, well, you already got your cracks in last night. For that, I apologized. And now you're making fun of my preference for the urban lifestyle. Well, you were a little, uh, shall we say, angry at the uh, Blue Oyster last night. Hi. I admit it. I have no idea why people go on and on about the deep south like it's some kind of bucolic paradise. I was awake all last night from the sound of loud insects and suspicious rustling sounds. And then the minute I got to sleep, I, there was this humongous blackbird outside my window. That would be a crow. Cawing all night long. Oh. Oh, perfect. Not only is my outfit stained, but it's crumpled to boot. You're looking rather immaculate this morning. Where did you get those clothes? You didn't have a suitcase when you came here. Same place I got breakfast. New Orleans? Mm-hmm. I know this great tailor there. You went to New Orleans this morning. That's right. You see, I've been up for hours. The tie arrived, so we, uh, we had it replaced. And I flew to New Orleans to pick up the best breakfast anywhere in Louisiana. Why didn't you take me? Because you were sleeping. Well, you could have woken me. Every other creature in this godforsaken place did. But we could have hightailed it out of here and never returned. Well, why would you keep me in this place one minute longer than is necessary, huh? What, what are you having, some kind of psychotic episode? No. I'm having breakfast. Now, you gonna have some or not? You want me to have breakfast with you? Unless you prefer the frog legs from the truck stop. Oh, perhaps you missed the point, but I have very important business waiting for me in Port Charles. Well, then you shouldn't have stowed away on my plane. Well, I needed your help, and you callously refused. What was I supposed to do? Accept my refusal? How can you be so maddeningly calm? Thanks, Guy. I'll take you back whenever you want to go. No, the point is that we should have been in Port Charles by now if you had woken me up when the tire arrived for your jet. I thought you needed to sleep. Oh, I didn't sleep. That's right, of course. Every creature on God's green planet kept you awake. <sighs> well, I'm glad you find this so very amusing. Come on, have some breakfast. Be my guest. What are those little squishy things? The beignets. It's a uh, New Orleans delicacy, similar to donuts, but much better. They practically melt in your mouth. <clears throat> well, forget the damn beignets. Just get me to the damn airport. You sure you want to wear that? Well, either this or I'm a slip. Mm, or the outfit I bought you in New Orleans. The what? Oh, I noticed that you hadn't packed, so I took the liberty of... Uh, Getting you a change of clothes. It's hanging outside the door. Let me guess. Uh, overalls and a gingham blouse? You peaked. I'm hungry. I mean the friendly bit. Why are you being so nice to me? Well, I, I figured if I was nice, then perhaps you'd be nice in return. You made an interesting point last night. Oh, yeah? 
Well, what about the grease pit we clogged our arteries at or the flea bag we're staying in? You said, you said you assume people will treat you badly. And then you make that your reality by being unpleasant. And obnoxious and annoying. Yeah, a lot like Ginger. Ginger? Who's that, one of your bimbos from your past? No, one of my horses. Excuse me? You see, Ginger had been badly mistreated as a foal. She wouldn't let anyone near her, and when they tried, she would buck and bite. I don't need this comparison. The stable hands thought she was incorrigible, but all she really wanted was a, a gentle hand. So I, uh, I spent some time with her, and uh, I talked to her calmly, and I stroked her a lot. Don't on. go there. All she needed to know was that she could trust me. Lo and behold, now she's one of my favorite horses. Well, I've got news for you. I'm not a horse. Yes, I understand that, okay? All I'm saying is, is that I took the wrong approach with you. I, I was angry and annoyed, and I fought back, which only encourages your bad behavior. And since you plan to stick around my life... It's business. I've decided to take a more amicable approach and give you treats. You know, I did consider an apple and a sugar cube, but I figured this was more tasty. Wow. Well, you think you just got me all figured out, don't you? Just trying to find a way to get along. Well, here's a tip. Comparisons to large, snorting animals isn't going to do it. Okay, fine. Then I'll stop. You will. We'll wipe the slate clean. We'll concentrate on breakfast. Well, I suppose I could, uh, force down a bite or two, considering room service isn't an option. What do you think? Not bad. Oh, okay. So delicious. <laughs> mm. You're welcome. Am I imagining all this? Or are you for real? Ooh, that is the best breakfast I've had in a long time. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Well, okay. It's down to business. What do you want? Well, it's, it's you that wants something from me. You want my ELQ proxy so you can use it against Sonny. Which you are very determined not to give me, so what's the catch? There isn't one. Jax, you're a savvy businessman. Negotiations are like a chess game to you. You make one move, you've the next five planned in advance. This is not a move. I simply like to vote my own. Why are you being so wonderful? Well, perhaps I can't help myself. Jax, I've irritated you, gotten your way, and generally driven you crazy, which you've been more than happy to tell me. So fess up. What do you hope to get by this Mr. Nice Guy act? Hmm? You know what? You've already, uh, you've already paid me back. How? Hey, you've been very pleasant company this morning. Perhaps you just needed to be fed. Oh, not the ginger horse thing again. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Are you sure you don't have an ulterior motive? Why? Well, I've done some pretty dreadful things to you. Well, dreadful is a strong word. Well, I intentionally stalled your elevator. I ruined your plot against that Cassidyne woman. I've tried to perform unnecessary CPR on you. I've hounded you for EOQ shares. I've insulted your friends. Have I left anything out? I don't mean to insult you, but it takes a hell of a lot more than that to uh, injure my feelings. How do you do that? What? Well, just let it roll off like water off a duck's back. No, I don't let everything go. But with you, I think I can manage. Could you stop being so nice? It's a little unnerving. You know, you could let down your guard for a minute or two. You might enjoy it. You make me really believe that this is for real. I mean, here you are, this eccentric billionaire who actually likes helping people. Sort of like the way Bruce Wayne liked turning into Batman and fighting crime. Except there's just no rhyme or reason for it. It's just simply his personality or something like that. I, I'm not sure. I'm still quite buying this. Well, in that case, I need to prove it to you. After you get dressed. Oh. This couldn't be real.